वेलकम अगेन टू माई YouTube चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स कैन यू ग्रो टर्मरिक विदाउट एनी सॉइल एंड इफ यू ग्रो दैट विदाउट सॉइल देन वॉट विल बी दिल एंड वॉट आर द प्रोसीजर टू बी फॉलो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव ब्रिंग ऑल दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर यू हाउ टू ग्रो टर्मरिक हाइड्रोपोनिकली और सॉइललेसली इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू टू ग्रो द टर्मरिक hydroponically in this vertical towers with the multiple layers i will give you all the information right from the seed selection sowing of the seeds after care what type of nutrition we need to give and harvest and i will also share the potential yield what we can get from this vertical growing of this turmeric from this towers so to know everything in detail don't go away please stay connected to the video till the end Let's start the video, friends. We are going to plant turmeric this year into this vertical towers. If you are interested in knowing what are the spacing of these towers, what is the height, what is the distance we have maintained, for that I have given the link below where you can go and get the detail about this tower. But right now we'll talk about the sowing of the turmeric and the seed selection. So first we'll talk about how to propagate the turmeric. So growing turmeric is very simple. we can easily propagate turmeric from its seeds turmeric seeds are the old season rhizomes which we can collect from the previous season crop the rhizomes are of two type the one is mother rhizomes which are the old rhizomes which we have put for the production we have taken the turmeric production and again using the rhizome for the new season production and another is the finger rhizome which are the new growth from the previous season which we can also use for growing turmeric for the next season so we have selected a finger rhizomes for our growing and we have collected that from the seed supplier of the good variety so these are the finger rhizomes we have got from the seed supplier now to check the good quality of the finger rhizomes you must ensure that the number of active eyes like you can see that this is the finger rhizome and you can see that this is the active eye this is the one this is the one this is the one this is the one so these are the active eyes on this finger from which the new plants going to come out so more of the number the plump eye are there more will be the plant number and we'll have a good amount of production so now for sowing the turmeric we can again use the two methods in the first method the seed rhizomes we can plant directly into this bed for that we need to pre moisten this bed first and then take all the seed rhizomes one by one and dig a pit small pit equivalent 2 to 3 inch and cover it with the media we need to ensure that the sprouting eye should remain into the either into vertical up position or at least into the sideways position so that new sprout will come out very easily we need to ensure that good amount of soil and then we just need to maintain the moisture for good germination in another method we can cut the seed rhizomes into the small pieces keeping at least one sprouting eye on each now if you can see this rhizome we can cut from this the one cut from here the one eye the second eye we can take a cut from here for third eye we can take a cut from here for fourth eye we can take a cut from here and for fifth eye take a cut from here so from one we can make five to six pieces for the seed those small pieces can be planted into the nursery tray keeping the eye portion in the vertical position and we can grow the seedling for the 30 to 35 days once the seedling become 1 and 1 and 1/2 feet high then we can transplant the seedling into this growing tray and give the watering so both way we can do the planting now the advantage of making seedling over the rhizome is that when we sow the rhizome this rhizome is weighing around 35 to 40 grams so for this tray we require the number of rhizomes into 35 40 grams equal seeds for this trays and when we sow it into the pro tray or the nursery method we can get five to six plant from the single seed rhizome so so we can get more plant from the single rhizomes and our seed rate will reduce drastically 
that's how we can save lot on the expensive seed cost and we can get the results 100% successful seedling only to be transplanted into the tray so that there is a no space vacant into this tray so we can use either of this method the first method rhizome method is easier to operate second we need to put some extra effort for raising the nursery but it has the advantage of reducing the seed cost and 100% plant density to be maintained now once we saw this turmeric into these beds then we need to maintain the moisture regularly as turmeric loves hot and humid weather with a good amount of moisture into the media for its vegetative growth so we need to ensure the moisture first then for the first 45 to 60 days it's a vegetative stage so in this stage we need to give the balanced hydroponic formula any hydroponic formula which is used for tomato chili can be used with the added some nitrogen percent that will give the boost to the plant and give the good vegetative growth once the plant started growing we need to give the support like from tying the rope over here so once the plant is growing out up to the one and a half two feet over here we can tie the rope and support this plant and that is how plant will remain into this vertical position after the vegetative stage that will be a tuber multiplying stage at that stage we require some additional amount of phosphorus and more amount of nutrition at that stage we need to maintain the hydroponic solution at ph level around 6 and tds or the ec to be 2.2 to 2.4 that will give the good growth and good shoot generation into the plant after that around 5 months of the growing the plant enter into the tuber growing st stage and for growing the tuber better we need the potash so that time we need to increase the potash amount into our formula and feed the plants with the high potash formula and that will give the good growth to the tuber this is how we simply maintain the hydroponic nutrient into this growing trays and get the good yield so now we will look at what yield what we can get from this unit against we can grow into the soil watch the video till the end and if you find this video interesting and useful then give me a like also share it with the like minded people express your view in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve let's watch the video don't forget to subscribe so for that first we need to consider so what is the area we are using now here we have a one and half feet of this tray and 3 feet is the distance so total 4 and half feet is the center to center distance which we have kept in this tray we will have a two row of a turmeric at a every one feet or 12 inch we will plant the one seed in a zigzag manner so this tower having a length of 10 feet each and we have this two towers in a row another row is again with a 10 feet two tower in a row and we have a five stacks so if you consider the five tray on this tower five on that 10 and another 10 on the another side so total we will have a 20 trays now in each tray we are going to plant two rows of the turmeric at 10 to 12 inch each so in the 10 foot we will have minimum 10 plants up to 12 plants so we will have a 24 plants per tray five trays will have a 120 plants and four set or four unit will have 480 plants in a whole now about the production per plant in a conventional method we can get around 500 to 600 gram yield because of the all this complexity of the soil and the nourishment of the soil but in hydroponic we are giving the balanced nutrition to each plant so plant will have a abundance of the nutrition with them and they have capacity to produce up to 1.2 to 1.5 kg of the tuber bunch per plant now if you consider average yield per plant or the per tuber is around 1 kg only on the lower side 
and if we consider this 480 plant centricity then we can get the 480 kg from this tower and if you count the space which we are utilize that around center to center is four and a half feet and 20 foot in the length so around 180 square feet is the land area plus some of the space outside also so on an average 200 square feet area and we can get the production around 500 kg so roughly two and a half kg per square feet of the production what we can get which is almost three to four times the conventional method of the growing into the soil so you can assume that the advantage of growing turmeric vertically with this method we can get at least yield four to five times than the conventional method so this method is much 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 beneficial than the soil method of the growing so how do you find this method of growing turmeric vertically up write your comment back into the comment box and if you like this please give me the thumb or the like button without fail i will keep you updating on the progress of this turmeric regularly with the video and keep posting the care to be taken into the future and for that you need to subscribe my channel and keep watching my videos regularly and start growing this in the vertical tower happy growing